who are under 16 in 2010. So, I think this evidence shows that drug abuse among teenagers in Hong Kong is not a serious issue, and rather it is sensationalism by newspapers and other media that makes it appear so. Okay, well now, I'd like to look at solutions that have been put in place in Hong Kong to combat the so-called drug problem among teenagers. I'm gonna look at two policies, first drug testing in schools, and second methadone clinics. Drug testing in schools started as a pilot scheme in Taipo Secondary Schools around 2010. Supporters of the testing say that the pilot scheme has shown results, with a decline in the number of young drug abusers, indicating its deterrent effect. However, others say that it's failed to identify hidden cases. While I think the deterrent effect can be important, I don't like the labeling of students as potential drug abusers even before there is any evidence. It's for this reason that I prefer these schemes to be kept voluntary. My final point today is about the methadone clinics in Hong Kong. Methadone clinics are an unrestricted, non-residential treatment program provided by the Department of Health. This program aims at assisting drug abusers to abstain from heroin by taking a reasonable dose of methadone at methadone clinics. But, are the clinics successful? Methadone is a drug which produces a heroin-like effect. It is addictive, and overuse can result in overdoses and even death. So, is it any better than taking heroin? Also, a problem with the clinic is the high rate of dropouts, those who start attending, but then fail to attend for 28 days. Finally, data shows that even after attending clinics, the unemployment rate of users is still high, so how effective are these clinics?